Alright, this is part two of my GameCube collection, and hopefully it will be the um, last part, but I may have to um, have a little bit longer time with it. Maybe a part three, maybe a very short part three. First up is one of, or maybe my favorite GameCube game, Killer7. Now this did come out for PS2, but it was better on the GameCube for the loading times were shorter and possibly a bit um, better looking. I'm not certain about that. Either way, Killer7 is an amazing game. And you might know of it because of um, No More Heroes, Goichi Suda, you know, Suda51 made both or worked on both. Um, but the games are really different. If you like No More Heroes, a lot of people love that and hate this. Um, personally, I almost hated No More Heroes after expecting more of this game from it, but then I was able to enjoy both. Um, anyway, Killer7. Killer7, this is not a full review of Killer7. I'm trying to go through all my games. Okay. Killer7 is amazing. Amazing. Um, you play as multiple assassins that are like this persona of the of this one main character, Harmon Smith, um, sort of thing. And it's a rail shooter, interestingly. But you control the rail so you get to move whenever at what point you wish to move, you can move. Um and there's like multiple paths, but it's still on rails. And it's really stylish and just quite an experience. Very worth it. It's very strange and really, really worth it if you ever see this. It's pretty cheap now. I, you know, I pre-ordered this paid full price. But you should really get it. Definitely worth it. Worth everything. <laughs> worth everything. Worth your house. Your jewelry. Your, your whatever. Okay. Um, Lemony Snake, it's a series of unfortunate events. Game. Now, I, the movie was pretty good, actually. Um, I liked the, I had liked the book series. So, might as well have gotten this, um, but I don't think it's, I don't remember it being all that great of a game. However, I think the graphics were a little better than usual for that sort of type, the game type, movie game stuff. Lost Kingdoms. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> it was sort of like, um, a uh, card battle type game, but you would throw a card, you would summon a, a creature. And I really like that. I kind of really want to get Lost Kingdoms 2 just to see what it's like, but um, that's basically what it was. Card battle, but like real monsters, I don't know, monsters that came out and were real. There's probably like a million shows about that right now on TV. Like when I went switching channels, I've seen some weird stuff going on. Like Bakugan and whatever is going on. I don't, I don't even know, but um, this was pretty good. And it just came, I don't think it's from anything. It's not like from a TV show or anything, so it's really good for what it is. It's a it's a really nice game. I would recommend it. Oh, probably my most hated GameCube game and hopefully none of you have ever seen this. MC Groove's Dance Craze. This game is one of the many DDR ripoffs there have been over the years and this is probably the very worst one I have ever experienced. It is by Mad Cats and I have a few Mad Cats all, um, peripherals and stuff. They're fine. However, this game is not fine. It is so far from fine. It is so unbelievably bad. <laughs> I can't even begin to explain it. It's just awful, 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 awful. Basically, if you can see these screenshots, there's no, there's nothing. It's just like a color, a blob, a green and blue. That's your background. That's really all there is. There's like a shadow of someone dancing. There's not like an actual character. Also, your arrows are like a very similar color to the background. So you could totally miss that they're even there. Um, the arrows, like, the top of the screen were also switched, two of the arrows, so if you are used to DDR, this would throw you off because two of the arrows are in the wrong position. Why? Why do that? Also, these songs, some of the songs last nine minutes, and it's just, why would a, the songs are supposed to be slow, or not slow, they're supposed to be quick, you know, a quick burst, a minute or two, definitely not an entire song. Also, the arrows were- the step charts were stupid, they were easy as can be, you know, what can you expect? Mad Cats, I can't believe you ever made this game, I hope you never try again, because this was hugely disappointing. I can't even stand how much I hate this. I would love to review this longer because I hate this game so much. I bought it for whatever full price with the dance map. 
I was very pleased. Wow, man. Um, Odama. This is a game that you can use the um, mic with. Why do I keep doing that? Um, using the GameCube mic with and you could command your troops and stuff. It's pretty neat. Um, but if you don't have that peripheral, I don't know if you can even play it. PNO3. Um, which I would have liked to have the box for because it's kind of neat. Um, but anyway, you play as some sort of robot chick. I can't really see anything on there, but she's right there. <laughs> anyway, I didn't really get far with this, but it was an interesting little attempt at something. Which you may want to check out, I don't know really. Just start there. Um, Pokemon Channel. This was interesting. Uh, <laughs> basically, you had your pet Pikachu, kind of like Hey You Pikachu in a way. Except that you had your Pikachu um, watch television shows, and these are like these are different shows. Um, I remember this was some sort of like shopping network with Squirtle. Um, yeah, it wasn't. An, oh, there's a new show with uh, Psyduck. Oh, so cute. <laughs> anyway, I don't really know what the point of this was, honestly, except to be cute and stuff. So. You know, and what would be cuter than Pikachu watching TV, right? No, nah, I don't know. Anyway, that's what this is. Um, it's definitely not... It's better than Hey You Pikachu, I guess. It's not better than Pokemon Snap, but I mean, it's not supposed to be. Anyway, I really don't know. Strange little game. Strange little quirky game. Mm. Pokemon Coliseum. Just like uh, the newer version of... Uh, b -b 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 Pokemon Stadium. Before that other, before that Wii Pokemon game came out, which I can't even remember the name of now. But anyway, Pokemon Coliseum. Um. Yeah, I really don't know. It's just more Pokemon stuff. Um. This reminds me of that uh, evil Pokemon game or whatever it's called, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Not <laughs> evil Pokemon game. But like the one where you could do whatever you wanted, or something. Anyway, um, yeah, Pokemon. That's really all there is to say about that. Rayman Arena. This game really isn't that great. Um, I just have it, so whatever. It was, I don't remember. Oh, it was racing or something? I don't know. <laughs> you just, oh, yeah, you could just run around as Rayman and just like, trot along, try to beat the other player. Or I guess the computer players. But anyway, this isn't really anything special. I don't even know why Rayman, Rayman was ever popular to begin with. Like, what is he, even? Oh well. Resident Evil. Yes. This was one of the first games I got that was M-rated, honestly. I know it wasn't the first, but it was one of the first that I got. I was pretty excited. I was like, yes. Anyway, this game is beautiful. The graphics are so good. For GameCube, for anything. The graphics at that time when I saw this was astonishing. I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is real. Well, not real, but I mean, this is like really good. Um, if you've never seen it, you really need to because it looks so... It looks great. I think it still looks great. It holds up today. It's amazing. And it shows that the GameCube could do a lot more than... Um, you know, that it was pushed for most of the time. As can the Wii, but the Wii also often has graphics that are worse than this. So honestly, developers, come on, get your act together. Do a good job. Seriously. We're not going to continue to accept all the shovelware. Anyway, great game. Great, like, uh, remake of the original. It changed a bit up, obviously. Voice acting's better. And unfortunately, the line, you almost became a Jill Sandwich, was uh, altered a bit for like you would fit nicely into a sandwich which is too bad but um you know we'll always remember our Jill sandwiches Resident Evil 4 um definitely a really good game and I thought it when it came out so I have like this special Leon like um not lithograph or maybe it is or a cell art type thing of him and it's pretty neat. I think it's like the same picture. Um, anyway. Definitely a great game. 
one of the best GameCube games, of course it came out for PS2 later and now it's out for Wii, but it was exclusive for a time, right? I believe so. And it was really good. It's still really good. And it definitely changed up Resident Evil, you know, it's not the same game. I mean, not, it's, it's more action, it became a lot more action and fun. Less, uh, difficult puzzles, sometimes. But anyway, this is sort of like when Resident Evil became more acceptable by the main gaming population, I guess. And then RE5 just amped that up times like a million. So, yes, great game. Definitely worth owning on some sort of, co on some sort of platform. Okay, um, I'm going to end this part and continue with part three coming up. <laughs>